Okay, welcome to a quick demonstration of how to load some PDF documents into the Wombat Legal Pico Early Case Assessment Platform, which is running on a VPS provider's um, computer. Um, okay, uh, we've just got a bunch of documents here which are essentially PDFs and they're just related to tobacco type stuff um, which have just been downloaded off the internet um, and classified into a bit of a structure um, so we can use them. So here are the folders that each contain however many PDFs. Okay, the first thing we want to do is zip these guys up so I'm just simply going to send it off to, and that's gone off the screen a bit, compress the folder. There goes the compression the zipper. So now we have a zip file which contains the directory structure and all of our zips. The next thing that I want to do is send these to the Wombat Legal Pico system. So to do that, I am going to map a network drive. So I've right-clicked on computer, and I left-click on map a network drive. I'll just drag that in so we can see it a bit better. Uh, I've clicked on connect using different credentials, although they may not be used. Um, connect to a website that you can use to store documents and pictures. So that's what we want to do. Click that guy. That brings up uh, a wizard. I'll just simply click next. Yes, I want to choose a custom network location. So click next. And I want to enter this guy here. I've done this before. Um, so we use the HTTPS protocol, which encrypts our data. Uh, and the VMX10522 is the Wombat Legal Pico system. The specific one, uh, which you would have purchased from us for a $99 deal. Um, press the next button and the system goes away and talks to the computer. Uh, now the location of these computers varies depending on your geography. So in Canada we have a provider in Canada and in Australia we have an Australian provider and in the United States there are a number of providers. Um, and eventually it will ask us for our credentials I hope, once it communicates. There we go. And I've typed in some credentials before, so it's remembered that. Um, so I'll, uh, Now these credentials are the credentials that you would use to log into the system through the web interface. So there's only one login. You just type your username and password. Click OK. And that is now completing the process. We can give the folder a name, so I'm going to call it Wombat Legal Pico. That's a good name. I'm going to click the next button and it's going to open it once I click finish. So I click finish and there we go. Uh, we have some stuff in the export folder possibly. Not quite sure what's on this system. Yes, we do. We've already exported some stuff out of here. Um, then we have um, the import folder. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to copy this guy, which is my zip file containing the PDFs. I'm going to paste it. And we've already got one there because I've done this before. Uh, and I want to replace, just to demonstrate what's going on there. And now it's busy sending my zip file up to the system. Um, now that will take some time. Uh, we have a one megabit link here, which is ADSL2 um, on an all-you-can-eat deal. And that will take about three or four minutes. So we don't want to watch that. So I'm going to press the F7 button to pause the video. Hopefully it paused. 
Okay, back again. It's still sending the data up. So um, I will hit pause again. Okay, we're recording again. This time I'm going to hit show me more details. No, it doesn't tell you very much there. Okay, pause again. Okay, the transfer window disappeared and our document, our zip file is now up on the remote server ready for processing. So that's where we go back to the web interface um, and hit the unzip and ingest buttons. Okay, that's it. It's as simple as that. That's how easy it is to um, load your data into the Wombat Legal Pico system.